A song you heard on the radio, a melody you have heard on TV, interesting rhythm, muse, inspiration, and then an idea is born. You transcribe it to a recording, paper, smartphone, computer. From there, the sky is the limit. Welcome back everybody to Epic Music Tutorial Episode 3. I'm Kay Flair and today we are going to learn how to move from an idea to a performance. Researchers found that the human ear can concentrate only on three elements at the same time. Primary element, usually the melody. This is the one we'll remember the most. We tend to remember simple melodies that are easy to sing. For this, you should learn how to make logical musical sentences. For example, almost all of John Williams' themes are very memorable and tend to stack in your head after you listen to them for the first time compared to modern film composers that concentrate more on ambience. Why is that? Williams' melodies have a lot of questions and answers techniques in the melody and it goes by steps without big jumps to distant intervals. Let's listen to the throne room from Star Wars. This is the question. Another question, and the answer, and we have a full logical sentence, musical sentence. Let's hear another example from Harry Potter. Question. Answer. Another question. And the answer. And another full logical musical sentence. Secondary element. Rhythmic ostinato. It's a motif or a phrase that persistently repeats itself in the same musical voice. And another secondary element is the bass that holds the whole piece together and driving it forward. The Duel of Fates by John Williams from Star Wars Episode 1 starts with an ostinato that played throughout the whole piece and it works like an engine. Let's give it a listen. <laughs> Territory element. Accompaniment. This is the musical part which provides the rhythmic and or harmonic support for the melody or main theme of a musical piece. There are different styles and types of accompaniments. In most cases, in epic music, it's the heavy percussions that provide the rhythmic support or a counter melody to the main one. Let's talk a bit about the harmony. The melody by itself, it's lonely, right? Let's listen to it. This is the melody from Transformers. <laughs> Let's add a bass to it. Getting more interesting. Now let's add a second voice. creates a pleasant texture. You should learn the basics of orchestration to be able to choose appropriate instrument for the character of each line in order to make interaction between harmony, melody and texture. 
A good practice will be to rewrite the famous score that you love. This is the way I have learned. I got my hands on some original scores and made my own mockups. It helped me understand the way I should arrange my instruments in my compositions. For example, strings and brass usually won't play different legato parts together because the brass section is more powerful than the strings. It will take over the strings. So while strings play legato parts, the brass will play short notes. A good combination will be strings and woodwinds. It creates nice and pleasant texture. Try listening to music you love and analyze the instruments played together at the same time. Do not quantize your MIDI. Try to feel the tempo changes and articulations. Play live as much as you need until you're satisfied with the recording that you have. When instruments play loudly, usually the tempo is rising a bit and the other way around. We have a couple of ways to add tempo immunization to our composition. The first one is to use dynamic tempo and change it according to our composition. So the first thing you have to do is to open a tempo track. Here's a tempo track and activate it. Okay, you can see I did as uh, you can see I made some changes in here. Okay, let's listen to it. It's the same transformers from before. Okay, this was with the tempo changes and this one with straight tempo. changes as dynamics and interest to the composition and make it more human. And the second way is recording our MIDI without a click and then figuring out the tempo with tools given us by Cubase. So here's a part I played from Pirates of the Caribbean without a click. <laughs> First, you need to know what the time signature is. So it's 3 fourth. Now we have to activate again the tempo track and press on time warp. Here's you, here you can see the yellow dots that represent the bars. I can make another bar and drag it to the right place until I satisfied with its placement. Okay, let's listen to it now with a click. <laughs> you can hear it it's out of the tempo but you get the idea you should always keep the dynamic flowing use the mod wheel almost all of the instruments today have mod wheel control that changes the color the texture or the force of the instrument here's an example with the trombone <laughs> the mod will changes at the bottom of the screen in these graphs. You can hear it if I change it. Let's do a fade in sound. Okay, so use the mod will to 
to add dynamics to the composition. Don't forget to use the velocity. This is basically the power applied to the MIDI keyboard when pressing a key. You can add attacks with velocity. Let's hear an example. Okay, here's a part I played. Let's check the velocity changes. Okay, so as you can see, there are not so many changes in the velocity. And this is because of my MIDI keyboard. It's pretty bad. But we can draw the velocity curves. And make accents with the pencil tool. Let's do a diminuendo. Now listen to it. Okay, I'm not so good player, sorry about that, but you can hear the difference in the velocity. Okay, another tool is the CC7. It's called the main volume. Actually, it's the maximal volume of an instrument in the particular mix. Okay, let's just draw a curve here. Okay, what we have here is a timpani roll. Okay, so this is another tool. And the last tool is CC11 called Expression. This is another volume to add expressiveness. You should use all of these tools together in order to make your mix more dynamic and more human. The mix is the sum of all of the channels into one coherent picture with panning, leveling and EQing. You should learn the orchestra setting to be able to place your instruments in your virtual stage. Mastering. For me, it's the most difficult part. The general approach will be different than pop and rock music. Classical music must have headroom and a lot of changes in dynamics. Do not kill your track with aggressive compression. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. On the next tutorial, I will show you my approach to composition and we'll compose a small piece together. So, stay tuned, give that video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to press the little bell button to get a notification every time I upload new video to my channel. See you later, Epic Alligators!